Hello, hello. I'm back with an update. So I was, I'm not fully sure that I'm in the clear yet, but I'm feeling a lot better. I had a doctor's appointment today about what I thought might be like a basal or maybe a squamous cell carcinoma. I was very concerned. And I do feel better, although I'm not in the clear. So I have been referred on to a dermatologist. The one on my back, she was not, she didn't seem concerned about. She thought it might even be like just a scar from like a pimple, but I'm like 99% sure I never had a pimple because it was never like sore. It was never like a pimple. It was never like that, you know? Um, so whatever it is, she doesn't know what it is, but it's quite like gone and flat. So she's not worried about that, which is good. Um, the one on my wrist... She thinks it's probably benign. I don't know why, basically, but she thinks it's probably benign. Um, but I did show her, like, I made a progression of, like, all the, you know, the stages that it's gone through in the last month. And she said there was one that looked a little concerning. So it was actually one that I showed in my video. Um where it looks very dried out. And I thought that might have been a good thing. I'm like, yeah, it's drying out, but like it looks dried out. And there's like a part in the middle that looks kind of like raw ish, you know, like sticking up kind of and like raw. Anyway, that was the part that she was concerned about, the picture she was most concerned about. And so I am going to see a dermatologist, but there's kind of no rush. It's going to be like, couple months wait. Um, I'm probably going to also talk about the one on my back just to make sure that it's also nothing. But um, just like the fact that she wasn't worried about it has made me a lot less worried about what is growing on my wrist. Um, I don't know if this is true, so don't like quote me 100% on it. But it seems as though what she was saying was like, because it grew so fast, she doesn't think it's cancerous um although it could be like the squamous and then she said something else about like a keratoc acanthoma i think that's the one she mentioned that it could potentially be that too which isn't always cancerous sometimes those things i'm not going to repeat that again because i practiced <laughs> before this video Carotho, keratoc acanthoma sometimes they can be cancerous but sometimes they aren't so um that's another possibility. Um, sh I did tell her like it came, it looked like it used to be like a, what I don't know the exact term for it. She did <laughs> like a liver spot. You know what I mean? Like a liver, liver spot. And I was scratching at it or picking at it one day. And then next thing you know, this thing grew out of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Um, and because of that, she thought maybe it was just like almost like a scar or something, but um, we don't know. So I need another dermatology appointment and that's going to take a couple months to get just to get in to see someone. So it's going to be a while. So if you guys are waiting for an update on what it actually is, um, yeah, that won't be happening for a while. But I do feel just like kind of relieved that she wasn't like, oh my God, we got to get this <laughs> verified, checked out or whatever. Um, and just like a really good reassuring conversation today, although I'm not 100% reassured. So that's kind of the only update I have for you guys. And yeah, I guess I'll just keep you posted. So stay tuned um, for like a couple months from now if I get that appointment then. And I'll let you guys know. That's it for now, unfortunately.